Candace had a mohawk, as you can see, she had a mohawk. But well, you know, winter time, she works on the island, so we have to give her something that's not make her head not too cold. So she usually have a mohawk, and um, we can get cut out yeah. today. Thanks, Felicia. <laughs> so we're gonna shave this side down. We're gonna layer it. And we're gonna give her a nice, smooth, movable bob. So most of this, this is gonna be here. So it's gonna be like a, or wherever I feel put it. Maybe or maybe not. It depends on what it look like on Candace's head when I'm doing it. This is a weave, net weave. So I'm gonna make this look like this Candace here. And with me. Yes, ma'am. Um, the gray area on Friday is our go standing appointments. Um, my first one is 10 o'clock on Fridays. First Anything first after that, yeah. Do you take the last of seven, right? No, six. Wait. I'm gonna do something. She has too much hair right there. <laughs> so, and Candace's hair is a little coarse. So, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use my scissors to cut it down. <clears throat> Before we start, no makeup here needs to be done, but hey, I'm still <laughs> cute. Um, just wanna share, please. Everyone that's on right now, please hit the share button, share this video. Let someone give someone gifts of sharing. Let them understand what we're doing. We're cutting. More. We're gonna take too much. How long have I been doing your hair now, Candace? It's been a minute, right? Mm -hmm. Like ten years, right? Yeah. Oh my lord, girl. Aren't you tired of me? Nope. <laughs> I give Candace all the funky hairstyles. I'll be devastated when she be away. I'm like, oh no, I can't get my hair done. <laughs> this fro will be back by next week. Yes, it will. We had lines in Candace here. She had a mohawk. She had lines on one side, both sides. It was nice and cute with color in our hair. Summer, we saw in spring. We get crazy, we can this. Yeah. We do all the colors and we do all the cuts and full hawk, mohawk, short hair. As you can see, I did not mold the side of her hair down yet, but I will. Kima Whitley says she loves watching your videos. Hey, Kima Whitley, thank you so much. Kima, can you do me a favor and share this video? And you know how I do Facebook, y'all gotta talk to me. See, I'm keeping Candace sideburns. And this is just straight up scissors over comb. If we went to beauty school, all of us are supposed to know how to do it. Scissors over comb. Okay? So that's all I'm exposing. Okay, so now I'm going to go back to my razor. <laughs> Tasha Bozeman has shared. Thank you, Tasha Bozeman. Come on, people. Hey, Michelle. Hey, boo. I'm cutting a bob. As you can see, I'm going to make it a little bit short because I left some of her. I left my tail from my mom all cow. Hang on, Candace. Hmm. <laughs> so, back to no section here, cut. You watch my video, Candace? Yep. <laughs> I watched Tracy's video last night four times. Four times? Mm -hmm. Well, you miss your haircut? Yeah. <laughs> but didn't you have that style too? Mm-hmm.
Come on, Facebook. Talk to me. Come on. Are y'all with me? Or you're not there? Do we got people Debbie there, Debbie just? just asked, is that her hair or partial weave? Oh, it's a partial weave, doll. Cynthia Smith said yes. Hey, Cynthia Smith. You know, you all have any questions, y'all can throw them at Chutney. All right, Chutney? Mm -hmm. You gonna read questions today, Chutney? I know your allergies is acting up. Dominique Smith said, I'm here, just all in. <laughs> hey, Dominique Smith. Robin and Kendrick, what type of razor are you using? I'm using Persona Flare. But it's not, a lot of people say it's, the, it's not the razor, it's the technique behind the razor. And you need to practice. You need to come to a cutting class so I can show you how easy it is. You have to come over here. Um, Cynthia Smith, why do you pull the razor comb from the mid down? Terrible to um, Cynthia Smith is getting rid of bulk and creating layers. Christy Tucker says, I need to come to one of your classes. Yes, Christy Tucker, what city are you from? Um, Sasha Bozeman, will this be a concave cut? What is a concave cut? I don't name my cuts, it's just a bob. It's um diagonal bob. Mm -hmm. I'm assuming she must have put it like, I guess, up here. Like um, it's that we most likely it's like a diagonal ball. Yeah. Most likely, it's not a concave. And please explain to me what is a concave cut, <laughs> Debbie D. When you cut like that, is it a traveling guide? Yes, my first guide is here. That's my traveling guide. This is the length of my bob. But I'm going into I'm making it a little bit shorter to sit on her neck. I want to expose some of her hair, but not all of it. Lakeisha McCray says, hey, boo, from Charlotte. Hey, Charlotte. What's up, boo? I'll be down in your area next week. I'll be in Fayetteville. I think Charlotte's, what, two and a half hours away from Fayetteville? Cynthia Smith says, she's been following you since Orlando, 15 to 20 years. You rock. Wow. Thank you, doll. You're a whole head like me and been in the game for a while. <laughs> Selena Gibbs Dunbar, you are gifted. Well, thank you, doll. Crystal Costa, hey from New York, Long Island. Uh, what, what, huh? Crystal <laughs> Cole, you are on a part. You, you right here, boo. <laughs> hey. We have class this week here at the Edge Beauty Academy. Marcus Petty, I understand now why you don't cut with clippers. You do a great job with shears and your razor. And from another hairstylist to you are really great. Hold on. St. Louis, Missouri, that was from. Hey, St. Louis. AJ Everett, where are you going to be? In Fayetteville. All right, these comments are coming in a little quick. Fayetteville, I'm going to be at the Ramada. I don't know if it's downtown Fayetteville, but I don't have your address, but I can get it for you. We're going to be doing um, a three day hands on class. Tasha Bozeman says a concave, long on the side short in the back in school we're told it was called concave in real life it's called diagonal hmm? yeah but it's a, a diagonal bob in school they tell us a lot of things like yeah, but they never cut it they when i was in school they never cut bobs they just showed us pictures of it they said bob starts right here anything below it is long hair that's pretty much all they say it 
Mm -hmm. oh, I know what they're talking about. I don't do all them name stuff. I just do. It's just that's a that's you know what that's a nice terminology. Thank you, doll. Thank you. Um, Tiffany Ambrose, do you ever come to Houston, Texas? You are like the fiftieth person that said that. And um, like I would love to come to Houston to teach, but I need to get someone to work with me so I can get um, some of the stylists to come out and see me. I can't just come to Houston and have a class and no one is there. That's not cool. I'm going to waste my money and waste my time. So if you know someone that want to work with somebody as crazy as me, tell them to hit me up. Like, you know, your distributors just need a hands-on class. Tell them you want, you need, you want to bring on your red cheese hair and we need, or we need your help. If they don't know who I am, show them my page. And I came to the Image Expo a couple of years ago. We stopped because it's never a lot of stylists there, so that's why we don't come anymore. <laughs> What's so funny? Cynthia Smith said, all these years of keeping up with the A cheese, I'm finally 800 hours in. <laughs> <laughs> That's right, was, girl. You got 100 more hours, girl. Yep. <laughs> Yamish Sanders, she says, skills. You do beautiful work. Do you ever come to Kentucky to do classes? I would love to come to Kentucky. That's one state I have never been. Not at all. I've never been to Kentucky. And I ask a dumb question all the time. I didn't even know black people live in Kentucky. They said there's a lot of black folks in Louisville. Where you from, Louisville? But bring me to Kentucky. I would love to come and teach a class. Baron Tyler says, do your thing, Andrea. Thank you, doll. Robin Kendrick, will you be at the Bronner Brothers hair show next month? No, nope, nope, no. no, no. No Brown and Brothers show for me. I didn't like the way they treat me last year. They treated me very disrespectfully. And um, I'm done with it. But I'd be a premier all I know. Cynthia Smith, do you think as a black stylist it's good to attend an all-white school? I'm the only black. Um, well, I went to all-white school. Whatever, they didn't teach me anything that was black, but you go to school to get your license not to learn how to do hair. It is up to you as a professional to want to say, well, I want to be where I want to be. I want to be far in the industry. So you take classes. So you go to school to get your license, and that's it. Everything else is pretty much up to you, how you learn. Charlotte Rogers says, my infamous Bob, ha, New York is going crazy. <laughs> Yes, honey, they ain't nothing like some on Bob's. New York is Bob crazy. Anything to cover the neck, just a little bit. Taisha Oliver, hey from Baltimore. Hey, Baltimore, Merlin. So this is what's going on with my Bob. As y'all could see, this is one side, and then when it comes to this side, it's a whole nother story thing. And this is why we have another story over here because we have her going shades on the side. Okay. So no matter where Candace go, somebody's going to be talking about her here. Now fabulous is it. Right, Candace? Always. So Candace is a professional woman, and everybody said, my client will never wear it because, you know, they're professional, and they go to Wall Street. Oh, please. All my clients are professional. And they all got edgy haircuts. Even though she wanted to get extension, I wanted to do something different. So she always wear the size short. Candace, can you wear a line or you can't wear a line now? Um, I'm not really sure. Since I'll just be coming back from vacation. Nope, they're going to see you. So I'll wait until my next, uh, my, my comeback for my edge up. Yes, ma'am. KB the hair slayer says, hello, love. Hello, KB, the hair slayer. That's a beautiful hair. You be slaying some hair, girl. KB, right? Uh-huh. See, I, I got to be careful. Oh, wait. Oh, no, that's a guy. That's a guy? Yep. Oh, shoot. Are you sure? Because last week you told me that um, 
<laughs> somebody was a boy when it was a girl. Now, I don't know. Well, when you in a photo with yourself and your man, I don't know if you are male <laughs> or female. You talking about um, uh, what's her what name? Was her name? <laughs> Clyde. Mm -hmm. Clyde. Clyde stays getting a shout out. <laughs> Clyde, Clyde is mad because Clyde was like, "Oh <laughs> no, they did so not. Like, no, we're I'm a girl." <laughs> <laughs> so this is what's going on and this is what's going on one is half one is up and this is going around so a bob with a conversation it's not just a bob now i have to layer this baby right here yeah i'm Ms. sanders i'm a originally from cincinnati but i have been in kentucky for years thank you for pronouncing my name right Oh, that she thought you. Thought you, you were one of the few who has pronounced it right the first time. Well, oh, girl, ass. my name is Chudney. So, <laughs> can you pronounce that? <laughs> she said, "My name is Chudney." So I try my best not to screw up people's names. Chudney. And you Chutney. read it <laughs> and say it in your mind first. <laughs> How is it going over there in St. Louis? No, St. Louis. We uh, think it's Kentucky. Kentucky. Today is Wednesday, all. Oh, we have our lazy days Wednesday. We don't really like to work on Wednesday. And if we're busy, we be having an attitude. <laughs> it shouldn't be rolling our eyes and be like, what the hell they doing here? <laughs> too many people in the shop. We like our lazy Wednesdays. Crystal like Costa, you have to call the salon to book an appointment, darling. We're located in East Meadow. She's in Hempstead. She said, can you do her here? Yes, ma'am. 631-393-6677 all. Impossible mission. Love watching your videos. Definitely talented. Uh, hey, Trish. <laughs> Cynthia Smith said, you lost me with them razor layers. <laughs> I did. Cynthia, that's why. I, Cynthia Smith, are you a hairstylist? Cause you said no. Oh no. What? Yeah, me said it's it's kind of slow here and it's cold and raining right now. Oh, oh girl, boy. well it's cold here in New York too, and it's kind of slow too. That's why most of the stylists don't come in on Wednesdays. They come in and come in and do it early. They try to get their clients in early and they out. But it's slow all over the world. That's why y'all have time to watch me. Slay this, Bob. All right, then. Tracia. Dowling. Yep. She says, hi, Andrea. Hi, Tracia. Tracia, I'm sending out a text to you and the rest of the team tonight. Training is in Atlanta, the weekend of the Bronner Brothers Hair Show. Three days of me barking at y'all. It's going to be fun. So, Tracy, I'm doing a no-section haircut. She said, loving it, boss lady. <laughs> I'll see you in three weeks in Georgia. Yeah, she's, Cynthia says she's in Cumming, Georgia, outside of Atlanta. And you are a hairstylist? She's a hairstylist? Tasha Bozeman said it's slow in Nashville. That's why she's sitting here getting schooled. <laughs> <laughs> Nashville. But you know what is good though? When stylists can say it's slow. You know you have the liars. They be lying. They be slow. They be perpetrating a fraud like they're busy all the time. Though we have slow time. It's right after New Year's. Everybody's spending their money for Christmas. It's slow. I mean, granted, somebody like me, you know, when I got five customers in the day, that's slow. But... At the end of the day, this time of the year, we always slow. No matter what we do, we always slow. Hairstyles, barbers, and 
that's when you come up with ideas that's when you pull your tripod out and that's when you cut in real life people that's when you cut Tamika Brown said that's going to be hot well thank you Tamika Brown I got to borrow my girl Candace put her drive for five minutes so we can cheat the chat until she comes out <laughs> right Candace look at that slayers Deidre Chisholm, where are the details for the class? Which class? Deidre Chisholm. That's a nice name. Mm-hmm. Isn't that nice name, right? Deidre Chisholm. What's your name? Deidre Chisholm. <laughs> Cynthia Smith said, you are a beast, babe. Thank you, doll. Cynthia Smith? Cynthia Smith? Multiple streams? Multiple streams? Hashtag MLM? What does that mean, Cynthia? She said, you're taking the weight off them ends. I already mm -hmm. did that. I'm just creating some stability in the hair because I wanted to sit here. Because I created all that movement within the hair. But I needed to sit here. So I go back in with my shears to create lines within a head full of layers. So it can just sit up. So when she bumps it, it can just pop up. She don't even have to pop, bump it if she don't want to. She can just wrap it and it's going to fall where it goes that's why I'm just doing it here in the top and this is notching it just going inside and creating chunks short long short long for it to move around so our haircut be easy for her Renee Morris says movement yes I'm not doing point cutting, I'm notching. Bubbles Appearance Enhancer says, hey Drea. Hey Bubbles, what's up doll? I have a question. Did y'all share this video? Mm -hmm. No, Tamika Brown. She will not be teaching any classes at the Rana Brothers Hair Show. No, ma'am. <laughs> Neela Davis as Bob Specialist. <laughs> mm, haircut Specialist. Angela Baldwin Gilchrist wants to know how long in the business, Andrea? 28 years. My oldest son is 28. He's going to be 29. Oh, Lord, next month. Oh, my son is old. <laughs> <clears throat> so I went to beauty school when he was four months old. <laughs> Cynthia Smith said, yes, shared. <laughs> Thank you, peeps. Share it. <laughs> Tamika Brown says, dang, I have to get in one of your classes. Yes, dog. I have a New York class coming up this week. I think I have two spots left because I booked one over the weekend. I looked up and somebody was watching my live video. And they went on and they paid for the full class. I was like, that's what's up right now. And it's a bob, but it got to move like it is. Hair. And yes, we're working with extension, but who say extension have to look like extensions? Who says? I don't want it to be like our foot. I want it to be like hair and a little bit like curved. So mm -hmm. it sit around the neck. 
but hair is different because this one have more hair on this side and it's all in the way you lay your tracks don't put four tracks in here and think you're gonna get this it's not gonna happen and as much as this is um it's not even the full head I use two bundles on our hair but it can't tell that it's two bundles right Tia McKinney, where can I find details on the classes in Atlanta the week of Ronald Brothers? Oh, I'm sorry, doll. That's my team training. I was going to do hands-on class, but they told me that it was not going to happen. It, you know, Ronald Brothers is going to be too busy. People want to be in the show. And I think people is pretty much over shows and they want classes. But no, um, what city are you from? Because I'm coming back to Atlanta in March which we're gonna work on the flyer tomorrow. Stephanie's not here today. So we work on the flyers. We're gonna be in Jackson, Tennessee, March 20, where am I, was it March 27th? Jackson, Tennessee is March 27th. New York is, it's a whole list that I'm missing. But today's Wednesday, my first day back in the salon since Saturday. I'm a little bit not up to par. I'm tired. I sat there and watched B, Mary Jane all weekend because we were snowed in in New York. I was supposed to be in Fayetteville, but I will be in Fayetteville next weekend. Shivana Boy says, come to Arkansas. <laughs> Bring me to Arkansas, I sure will. No matter what city you're from and you want me to come do a hands-on um, class, bring me there. Bring me. Are you going to be teaching for IBS New York City? No. I don't do IBS New York. I need to get into IBS New York. But it's kind of hard. So what I'm doing is I'm going to mold Candace's hair with the four horns. I love, 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 perform. Look at this. They're asking what the contact info is. For um, the edgebeauty.com. Always find classes on the edgebeauty.com. Go to classes and you will see them listed by cities. If you're from a city, click on it and you can always pay. And it's also on Eventbrite. So this is my Facebook. Cool. I love being my pro forms. <laughs> this is my best friend. My clients love it. And she's gonna be in a drawer now you five minutes because I just wanted to lay down a little. You know, when you do bobs, you gotta make sure, especially when working with partial partials, you have to make sure it match into the hair. Vanessa Anderson says, very nice, very nice. <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you. You're funny. You'll be doing the, the, the voices and right, everything. I can just hear them talking to me. Sophia <laughs> <laughs> Smith, do you offer one of one on one mentoring on cuts and color? I do, but it's kind of expensive. All of that information is on, on the website. If you're looking for mentoring, if you're looking for one day, two day classes, you know, if you don't want to be like on the site to tell everybody, you know, just call me, email me. We get right back in contact with you. We'll give you all the prices, but mentorship is up there. How, you know, you can shadow and all that good stuff. Oh, no, honey, it is not a beauty supply store. Oh, no, no, this is, um... <laughs> Tia wants to know. Oh, this product is never going to be in a beauty supply. And I know probably about 10 years, but not right now. Right now, this is for the stylists and our customers. This is exclusive. Yes, ma'am? Who oh, is it? I can't talk about doing Facebook Live. Tell her I'm doing my calling back. Dion Von Bell says, nice shape, Andrea. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I think you, you talking you, about your you. body, not like your shape. Oh, no, you didn't. You, too, oh, you, no. you think I love this allergy medicine? <laughs> you silly. She's going to be in a drive probably like five minutes or less. So, um, so we're not even going to come off. We're just going to just stay. 
why well, can't destroy? I said, y'all can talk to me and ask me any question that you wanna in the industry. Any question. So start typing. Candace, come with me. You're gonna be under the drive for five minutes. Come on. Come on, me with Chutney. Any question you wanna ask me, it doesn't matter what it is. Ask away. Mahogany Town. She's tuned in from Akron, Ohio. Hey, Akron, Ohio. I love your work. Can't wait until you come back to Ohio. That's where all the cool people live. Yeah, oh, I love Ohio. <laughs> you don't understand. I love it. I can't do Ohio in the winter. <laughs> I have to do Ohio in the spring and late spring because yeah, you know, I know. I hear about this. Oh, story. girl, we would look outside and it was like 12 inches. I said, like, what the hell is that? And the, it's the way the stylists had their, 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 their what's not playing? They had the shuffle in front of their cars. They came to class. I was like, whoa. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, oh my gosh, it's a little bit much, but any question that you all have to ask me, doesn't matter what it is, it's anything, I'm coming back from my cut, I just put Candace and let me dry for five minutes, so I can show you all how my finish, my finish, my liner up real good, detailed her, make sure her hair is laced, but until I'm waiting for Candace, but we never do this, we never, never, never do this, ask me any question that you want, any question that you want about the business about how to get do anything no matter what it is how to brand yourself anything go ahead ask me anything <laughs> yeah mahogany said it's cold in ohio now yes thank you what was the question a question was do i wanted to um address the marcel irons and how to clean it we oh, had yeah. um a conversation um a couple of weeks, um, couple last week, right? Was it last week? Last Wednesday, as a matter of fact, about our Marcel irons and how to curl and clean them. These are the Marcel irons, and I was didn't know what it was, but really these are the large beveler, meaning they are the larger version of this. So this is the one that I was using, and it was asking which I'm going to use the back for the back of Candace here. So this is a large beveler and small beveler. This is a large beveler, and this is a curling iron. And someone asked the question, how do we curl? our Marcel irons. So what we pretty much do is, we pretty much put it in the stove and let it get hot. And then you would take any relaxer, a lye relaxer, doesn't matter which one it is. You can take any lye relaxer. Any lye relaxer, after it's heated up, and you take a brush, that brush you're not gonna be able to use no more. So make sure it's an old brush. So this eat it, eat it up, eat it up, you take the um, you, I always take um a bowl and um put the relaxer in. You take a um a bowl, then you take the brush, make it make sure it's heated up. And when it's heated up to about this temperature, then you take the um you take paint it, paint, paint it real good with the um the relaxer. Then you use your um, towel. And then you clean it. I think it sits on there. Don't rinse it off. Don't wipe it off real um, instantaneously. Then you wipe it, wipe it off. Then you put it back in there. And if some, if you have a real buildup, you're gonna do it three or four times. And the last time when you do it, you just let it get real, 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 real hot. You should use any form of base or Vaseline. It doesn't matter what it is. Some form of grease. After the relaxer is off of it, and then you just wipe it down like with with. Now you're gonna need about four or five of these towels. Just just wipe it, wipe it, wipe it, wipe it down until there's no grease on it. You put it back into heat up, and that's it. That's how you clean your Marcel irons. Felicia Morgan says, I love your drawers. Oh, thank you. Are you looking at, are you looking at my arm? Um, she's looking at my arm. Um, you're looking at my curling irons in my drawer? <laughs> Cynthia Smith says you are humble and your personality is definitely your brand. Thank you, doll. Thank you so much. I so appreciate it. You talking about my drawers? Because it has five drawers. It's like one, two, three, four, five. And it don't look like it when you walk in the salon. It pretty much looks like a piece of furniture. Mm -hmm. So it's just pretty. It looks like it's like furniture. And then you open it up. And then you have <laughs> Sorry, Tanisha. All of this, <laughs> you have all of this going on here. I have my stove. I just keep everything. It's, it's small. I don't use a lot of products. I just use a few products. Uh huh. Felicia Morgan's like, yes, you're set up. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, doll. So this is this is what we do. But nobody have any questions to me or anything that you want to ask me? Y'all got me for a few minutes. Come on, I'm Did sitting you start down. Start doing hair from your home. 
Absolutely, positively not. I never did home. <laughs> Absolutely not. I came into the business with the head of I was going to be a hairstylist. I was going to be a professional hairstylist. I was not going to be a home hairdresser. Absolutely, pop. Oh no, I never did hair in my home. I'm well when I go to Maryland to do my sister's hair, and I cuss her out the whole time I'm in the kitchen. I tell them no. But other than no, I always went to beauty school. I got a job while I was in beauty school. And um, I've always had a job. I never, this is the only job I did since I became started doing here 20, almost 29 years ago. I never compromised my um, my beliefs. I never wanted to be in the house. I don't do my family's hair because they don't like to pay. They're cheap and I'm not doing their hair. <laughs> so um, I tried to go pay and get their hair done and I'm going to stay over here. So I don't do my family's hair. And I, I still love them. I don't care if they don't like me, but I love them. But I'm not doing their hair because I'm not doing it for free. <laughs> so, you know, no, never home. Always in the salon. And if you are on here and you are a hairstylist and you doing hair at home, your mind you, it is closed because you're by yourself. And who's going to teach you? You have to, I, My friend Shauna, Shauna Love, she has her, she has a real, real salon in her home. A real real salon like she takes one side of her house and made it to a um, salon and she is stylist that work there so if you can do it like that yeah but if you buy yourself in a little box no because you can't learn anything by yourself you you don't know everything <laughs> every day is a learning experience DJ Chisholm says yes yes and yes um Dion Von Bell, how mm -hmm. do you stay inspired and where do you get your inspiration from to stay fresh and cutting edge for clients? Oh, that's a great question. Thank you for your question. How do I stay inspired from you guys? Um, knowing that when I come on, you are watching. Um, I stay inspired because I travel a lot. I go all over the world. Um, I love Europe. Um, I love the islands. Um, Cali, even though it's, I think that's Europe, the same amount of time it takes for you to fly to California, you can be in England. So, you know, but really, um, play with my mannequins on the days that I'm off, um, looking at other stuff. I look a lot online. Um, I look at Sassoon. I look at, well, I'm really well off. All of them. I love Guy Tang for his colors. I love, all, I, do, I, I watch everybody. I mean, I stay inspired from, because I love this business. So. Mm -hmm. Selena Gibbs Dunbar, did you ever do a bad cut? Heck yeah, that's all got good. <laughs> <laughs> oh yes oh I did plenty of bad cut when I first started when I lived in my apartment building and everybody wanted me to do their hair and I said I'll do it only if I could cut it I messed up some hair and that's how I learned how to fix it so that's how I learned how to cut because I messed up so much <laughs> Cynthia Smith what was your most fearful moment my most fearful moment oh lord I remember when I was making less than $200 a week Ooh, girl. and um when I had a son, I wasn't making no money. I was so broke, and I refused to go work at Walbounds. It's a supermarket here in New York. So I would sit there all day and watch everybody that worked. And I, and I went, year two, I realized, I was like, oh, my God, I wonder if nobody's going to come to me to get their hair done. Oh. And then one day, it just started happening. And I never looked back. Um, no, she will be teaching hair cutting at the Bronner Brothers. I will not be at the Bronner Brothers hair show. Sorry. You don't need to tell Brown and Brothers because they don't like they don't I don't like the way they treat me. Let me say that. So I refuse to go back right now. I'm just taking a hiatus from them um, and do me and you guys. Tamika Brown, how did you build your confidence? My confidence. I'm a Virgo and um, <laughs> um <laughs> my grandmother told me when I started doing here, she says you don't like women. She, you know, my, my accent of Jamaican. She said, for you to succeed this day, she said, you have to be better than everybody else. I said, huh? She said, you got to be better than everybody. Building my confidence was um, from when I used to be um, married and get talked down to and told that I wouldn't be nothing. And I was like, you're right. And my confidence came from my clients too and girls that work in the salon. I came in the industry with a, in a salon still with 10 women and these women were some strong women and i learned i got a lot of their strength and that's how I, they gave me the strength to leave my husband so and i did <laughs> um johnny d pass he's in north houston hey johnny pass. Um, hey. he says i own a 35 seat salon in a t in a 32,000 square foot facility Jeez. what tips what? what tips do you have 
for customer retention. Currently, we service roughly 3,200 clients, but that's down for 4,100. Okay, client retention it has everything to do with you as a professional, how you greet them, how you talk to them, and the, the hairstyles. For someone that owns such a big salon, congratulations. God bless you, because I would never want to do it. God bless you. Um, <laughs> for you to retain your customer, it's all about the rapport. You have to make sure that the clients are satisfied when they leave meeting your hairstylist. You have to bring in, um, you have pretty much have to bring in people to come in and teach. That's the way I say retention is my clients come back to me because I always make sure all their hairstyle looks good. I do not compromise on any of my clients. Every single one of them come in here and they sit and they look when they leave like they're going to have a photo shoot. Oh, in Johnny Fassie's in North Hollywood. North Hollywood, California? Mm-hmm. Woo! That's right, Stacey. You Team go Virgo ahead. Girl. God bless you. And that <laughs> is still a lot of customers. And for you, you just need to do um, marketing. Um, you have to do your marketing. You got to stay on top of your marketing. You got to market yourself. And you have to make sure you let them help you do the marketing because they have to help. They can't do let everything fall on you. They have to really help. So you just have to um, make sure you have the proper education using the right products. And make sure they're happy. They will come back when they're happy. If they're not happy, they won't come back. Um, let's see. Tanisha Mitchell, she says she can't wait to meet you in Jackson, Tennessee. Hey! Um, Amber Black, what kind of razor do you use? Persona, flair. Um, Soon it's going to be called a spice of cheese, which is, this is my razor that I'm molding. That's going to be mine. And it's going to be called a slice of cheese. Slice of me, moi. <laughs> Um, Vanessa Anderson, she says, if you can share, what are your prices? <laughs> what are my prices on what? What I'm doing to Candace? Johnny Candace has a, um, a color, a relaxer. It's a relaxer. She has a three-quarter weave. So she's going to be about $240, 250 um, Stacy B. Williams, she says, I started playing with my mannequins again, trying to revamp myself as a stronger stylist. Cut Absolutely. and color is where it's at. Absolutely, 100%. Say it again and share while you hear that. Listen, you all got to share these <laughs> You got to share because a lot of stylists feel like they don't have to cut and they don't have to color. But no matter how great a, a weaver you are, you have to learn how to cut and color. So suppose that person let me get weave for 10 years and said, I don't want it anymore. I don't want to cut in the style. What are you going to do? You're going to lose that client. And a lot of people, a lot of black, <coughs> black clients are going to natural hair. They're sick of relaxer. They're tired of it. So the other side of the money is color. So when you learn how to color, those natural stylists, <laughs> our natural clients, they want the blondes and all the pinks and the purples. And they can get that. Because they don't have no relaxer. So you have to know how to do all this stuff to them. So this is why classes is important. This is why you have to go to classes and you have to bring classes into your city. And if you have a salon, like you have 35 um, station salon. Oh, Lord. Mm -hmm. Taisha Oliver said, preach. <laughs> 35 station salon. You need to bring at least every three months or every six months. If you can't do every three months, quarterly, once, twice a year. Have a class for everyone in the salon and make it mandatory for them to come. Let us keep up with the trends. Cynthia Smith, when you come out of school, do you have to compromise your talent and charge less to build the clientele? That's no, because question. I went into a salon that was popping at the time and it was like, no. It depends. That's why you, it's good for you to go to a salon that's reputable. Don't think for one second you're going to come out of beauty school and you're going to make $1,000 a week. No, you're not. You probably make a hundred or two hundred, mm -hmm. but the skills that you will learn from being in a salon where the stylist is doing other things is priceless, and that's what happened to me. When I was busy sitting down, everybody was feeling sorry for me, and I was high every day watching everybody work. I worked at EHD, and that lady had some bad hair stylists in there, and she taught us how to cut. And I used to sit down and watch her every day until I started getting busy. Then I couldn't do no more. So. Um, Tamika Brown, what advice do you have for stylists coming back into the industry? Classes. 
for you you need hands-on classes you need um you need to stay under someone that you following me stay under me watch what i do um watch everything the marketing side of what i'm doing the the skill side which is the cut and colors even when i do extension and i don't do it i don't like to um but you have to stay on you know make sure who you're following is really doing what they're say they're doing can you see somebody facebook page and it's popping and then you go to a class and they don't know what the heck they're talking about or what they're doing so make sure your educator is very knowledgeable make sure your make sure your educator been in some classes themselves because there's a lot of educators that have not been in class in years and they need to go to school so you know so make sure the people is relevant Stacy B. Williams, she wants to come to this salon, but she needs to get better, she said. This salon right now is full. We have no space in here, Stacy B. But don't look at it like you have to be good to go into a salon. Because my friend Natasha Petit, she's on, um, him, on Main Street in Hempstead, she needs stylists. You know what I'm saying? There's a lot of salons that need stylists. But, and Natasha is a great stylist, and she came up under me. So, hey, so um, you don't think that... Excuse me, that you have to be so good to get in a salon. You're supposed to be exactly where you're at, but if your mind is open to learn, you're going to learn and you're going to get better. No, but I'm still learning. So don't think you have to be great to work with me. No, I like when you're not. So I can, you know, put some stuff into you. And that's for anyone that's actually teaching. And in this, this realm, pretty much this who, the stylist that's teaching each other is the one that came up after me. Come, I came up with me. I call them my babies. Stacey B. Williams says, say Natasha's info again, please. Natasha Petit at Petit Petion Hair Salon. It's at my old location, 43B Main Street in Hempstead. The phone number is 516-483-8187. Right there? Yeah. 8187. 516-483-8187. Her name is Natasha. Um, Omika Whitelaw. How do you handle challenging clients professionally? <laughs> <laughs> you talking about the one that you kick out? I kick them out. <laughs> um, I tell them. You put them on the block list. No, I, I, yeah, we put them on the block <laughs> list. And when they call to make an appointment, they said, I'm so sorry, you restricted. I got a salon software that restrict people. We can block them out so they can't make an appointment. And I, I, I sit there and I be nice to them. Sometimes I just tell them to get the F out. Sometimes you just can't be nice. No matter what you do, <laughs> they come after you. So you just have to be like, get out. But on the professional side, we've just blocked them. Thank you so much. <laughs> you bill be one hundred and seventy-five dollars. Thank you. And they leave be like, block her. <laughs> <laughs> yup. <laughs> oh damn! Professor so block people. Or something like that. What she did to me? <laughs> <laughs> I did try to get a appointment. Trust me, they me. know. Oh, they we know. yeah, I blocked you. You know why? <laughs> You cheap as hell. You don't want to pay the price. You complain about. It. You talk about me. So yeah, you're blocked. Find me, me, chick. <laughs> Cynthia Smith wants to know: Are there any styles that you refuse to do on a client? Any styles I refuse to? Do? Yeah. Um, ponytails. You know them ponytails back in the day that you cut up in style. Um, I try not to do finger waves because everybody do not look good with finger waves. <laughs> Um, and they're just like there's a lot of people that don't look good with natural hair. They think it looks good and they look like a moo moo. They don't look good. I mean, it's like we Jamaicans say you don't look no good. You don't look no good. You need a perm. That's why they made perms. <laughs> but Yamish Sanders says thank you for your advice. You welcome. I'm gonna get Candace so I can Candace so I can go. I'm calling Candace. Usually I will walk back there and go get her from underneath the dryer. But um, I'm saying any other question before we go, Chatney? No. Are you sure? I know you skip some people, you know. Because I go back in and I'd be like, she didn't say nothing to that person. Let me answer that. <laughs> there come Candace. Boop, boop, boop. Sashay. 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 Drop that. <laughs> okay, so Candace is back in my chair. Nicole Trent, will you be in Mexican Lexington, Kentucky? New Mexico. Somebody just asked me that question. Huh? Yeah, will you be holding a class there? I would love. We would love to do um Lexington, Kentucky, but if someone have to bring me, I've never 
ever been to Kentucky. And I would love, love, love to come out there. But I was a little bit ignorant because I said the crazy old stuff. Black people live in Kentucky? No, black people live everywhere. But, and most likely there's a lot of Jamaicans out there because we live everywhere. <laughs> Stacy Williams said, natural aid for everybody. <laughs> yeah, he sure is not. Coca Snort. Huh? I need you to get a new name. Um, just cut the whole thing. Just cut one whole face. Cut the whole thing? I don't know. Talk about Candace hair? I don't know. I already did. I cut most of Candace. I shaved the sides down. All right, Coca Snort. He said, but you ate KFC, though, so you did go to Kentucky. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good one. That's a good one. Okay. All right. You're right about that. <laughs> and y'all can still ask me questions. I'm on my razor. Felicia Morgan says she, um, Bazak. Shavonna boy, so that's different. Never seen anyone use a razor to do a paper. Girl, techniques. Sarafia Torrance says that's nice. Thank you. I'm assuming Beavis isn't coming. I guess not. Morgan says, I just watched the other video that I missed. Good job with the razor. Thank you. Janine Lomax. She has a weave. Mm hmm Yeah, she does. Cynthia Smith, have you have your clientele always been mostly black? No. Do you have Caucasian clients? Yes, I do. Money is money, one color. <laughs> Cynthia Smith says those scissors are life. Yes, honey. That's the other part of our industry that we don't do and we don't talk about is tools. Oops. My buddy, duration of oil, as you can see, I use these things on everyone. Even though it's extensions, I use them to hold my sides down. Cynthia Smith say amen. <laughs> My putty is amazing. <laughs> Thanks, Felicia. <laughs> she said, bam, on the wall. <laughs> Good job, camera girl. <laughs> okay, Taisha Oliver. She said, you have me ready to go back to skateboard. Yes, honey. Go get them. Oh, Shivana Boy wants to know which guard size Guard size for on the right. This is the smallest one in, inside of the razor. Yeah, the mm -hmm. smallest one. Okay, so I am going to curl using my Marcells and come up to my PPI. Denise Anthony, why do you take so much off the side? Because that's what I wanted. Give her that edge. See, when you cut, look at me. When you cut, cut a, a haircut should be a conversation piece. Your client should not look like everybody. Your client should have a uniqueness to her hair. 
client retention. Um, um, who said it from California? This is why I have client retention because I customize haircuts for my clients. I mean, Ken has been with me for 10 years. It's like, and these are people that I do every day, every week. She's a weekly customer. And she usually wears short hair, but it's winter and she's in law enforcement and she needs to be out there. And she has to keep her hair, you know, like she needs to keep her hair trendy, but still keep her head warm when she's out there. So I customized this cut for Candace. We know we wanted a bob, but what kind of bob? That was the thing. Mm -hmm. What That's kind of bob? Question. Um, well, Janine Vomax wants to know what kind of cut do they call that? An uh, Andrea Cheese special. <laughs> I call it taking it to the edge yep. in real life. If you hear me talk and you see my hashtag, when you see me hashtag anything, it's called, and I say take it to the edge. This is what I call take it to the edge. Taisha Oliver says she loves it. It's a conversation piece. Yes, because can, no, no matter where Candace go, somebody's going to ask her, excuse me, or they stare at her. That's what they usually do to you, right, Candace? Mm -hmm. They usually stare at her. And then they ask her where she get her hair done. So you have to have something that the next person wants. You have to make your clients look like they're not like everybody else. Yes, yeah, she got extension, but why should that? Why doesn't have to look like a big weave on her head? Who say she has to look like she has a weave? I said nobody, so she won't look like she has a weave. Felicia wants to know where can I purchase your product? www.theedgebeauty.com, and this is timeless spritz. As you can see, I'm out of it. <laughs> I'm out of it. Um, so I will get, get another one. But um, theedgebeauty.com, if you're a professional stylist, go and sign up for the professional sign to the professional stylist store. We have to approve you because you get um, fresh special prices because you are a stylist. You don't pay what the general public pay. But I have to know you're a stylist. You can't tell me you're a stylist and I'm like, okay, she's a stylist. I'm going to check. Cynthia Smith, do you suggest certain types of weave to be purchased when adding extensions for your clients? Oh, like for me? Oh, that's a great question. Thank you for your question. My coworker, Desiree. Desiree, I buy, this hair came from Desiree. I've been trying to tell Desiree to get her weave hair stuff together, but she don't listen to me. Des. <laughs> Hey, Didis. Hi. We just thought you was not coming. Why would you think that? I don't know. I told you I got up at 445. I left right out the door. I'm trying to be good. Yes, ma'am. Denise Anthony, do you use flat irons? <laughs> As you proceed to pull it out, it's a buffer, a polisher. <laughs> mm -hmm. It says buff, polish, and infuse. That's right. Mm -hmm. If someone want to purchase hair from you from Facebook, how would they go about purchasing hair? They can go onto my IG page, which is Ladybug1223. Ladybug1223. Yeah. You hear that? Instagram. But tell them the website shall be up next week. And the website shall be up next week. Same name? No, different name. Okay. Well, I'm gonna, as of right I'm, now, I'm, I'm, I'm going to make hair, sure I live it so, um, so y'all can get the information. Instagram. You see how pretty you see how pretty this hair is? Look at that. You see that? This hair is a ooh, it's amazing. Yeah. Kima Whitley. What kind of Marcells do you use? Kazori. Mm -hmm. Felicia Morgan says she loves her um BPI. Oh that oh ooh. That's what's up, girl. See, no, no, that's what I'm talking about right there. If y'all don't know what BPI is, it's the iron that I'm using. Brian Perry International. It's Brian Perry. It's, his website is BrianPerryHairCare.com. Um, Coca Snort. Uh, he said, color it, experiment with it. Experiment with what? Yeah. Cynthia Smith. How will you handle a client that brings terrible hair? Do you not do their hair? Yeah, they're gonna go get right here. Because that's that's representing your work. And if they were if the hair is wrong, you have to like you have to say no sometimes. You have to say no. 
Can you get terrible hair and you trying to, you did your magic and you, you cut is on point and your style is on point, but the hair is wrong. Guess what? They ain't gonna look at the bad hair and say, oh, our hair don't look no good. But it's not your hair cut, it's the hair. So you tell her, I cannot use this hair. You have to go get the right hair. K.A. Pulling says, hey, cheese. Hey, hey Kim. This is in the back while shampooing her own hair. Nicole Trent, is your BPI ceramic? Um, no, I think it's the other one. Oh, Lord. Don't you all ask me about the names. I just know one thing. The darn thing works. <laughs> I don't know, and it goes up to 400 oh that's why it's not that hot it goes up to 470 I added that 419 C goes to 470 and Candace is sleeping <laughs> Shauna left for the day oh. in said, hey Shauna <laughs> Shauna is home I think she's halfway home Nicole Trent loves it. Hey, Shauna. She's on there. Oh, oh, oh Shauna, what are you doing? Like, really, Shauna? <laughs> so I started off with my base is my Marcel. And I graduated up to my BBI. Cheryl LaJoy. She says, bonjour from Mrs. LaJoy, Atlanta. Hey! Where are you located? Bonjour, mademoiselle. I am in New York. Samuel Jackson wants to know where you're located. Uh -huh. Tanya Hare, where are you located? We are in East Meadow, New York. 25708 as in Apple. Hempstead Turnpike, East Meadow, New York. 11554. The number is 631-393-6677. And if you call and you cannot get an appointment with me, all the young ladies in here is equipped to do exactly what I'm doing. It's not a game in the salon. It's a really a hair thing. And it's a color thing. Capel Tasha wants to know what kind of hair is that? That's right. What kind of hair is this, Mama? That's um Brazilian natural wave. Brazilian natural wave. Oh, no, Brazilian loose wave. Brazilian loose wave. Yeah, that wave was nice and that. Yeah, and Candace just came back from the Philippines and she had it was the same um texture, right? That yeah. she was in the Philippines. And every time I look at her pictures, I was like, Yeah, Candace here look kinda nice. Because it was loose wave, it was so pretty, it was tight, it was just beautiful and it was moving all over her head. I said, Well, that's some nice hair. So that kind of hair makes it bouncy like? Yeah, it's like real good hair. That's where it's all very good quality hair. That's where it's all black hair? Mm hmm She right sent bundles. Oh. Been telling her since last year this time to come up with her site, but no. You know she don't listen to I'm going to cuss her ass out. That's what I'm going to do. Did I cuss her on Facebook Live? You know we're going to talk about that's right, like she ain't here. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that's my friend Dita's over there. Hey, don't show my arm. Hey, Dita. Hey, son, girl. <laughs> <laughs> She just came in to get her hair. It's my last client for the day. Lord, we gonna go. She getting a treatment. Nadia Pierce says she figured you are up north. I'm from Jersey and no one can do hair like this where I am in Virginia. Oh. Yeah, that's cool. <laughs> <laughs> Selena Brown says she loves what you're doing. Thank you, doll. Thank you so much. I so appreciate it. Y'all are so good for my ego. This is where I get. <laughs> That's where everybody's all laughing at me. <laughs> but they are, though, Des. They, they be stroking my ego, girl. I be like, ooh, yes. It feels good when you appreciate it. Yes. You got that right. My Facebook, my Facebook pals, I love y'all. Thank y'all for hanging out with me. Thank y'all for sharing my videos and watching my videos because you all have a big choice. Because there's a lot of hairstylists out there that's bad to the bone. But y'all choose me. So I so appreciate y'all hanging out with me. And even hear me cuss sometimes. <laughs> Latrice Wright. I just recently got my license and I'm all about learning and I love your videos. I just started following you last night. Thanks for sharing. Thank you. Now turn around and share this video. <laughs> I, I think it's somebody that shared a video so you've seen it. 
So just do somebody else a favor like you and share that video. This is what I'm all about. We're supposed to share and teach each other. And if we teach each other how to do everything that I'm doing, yo, we'd be some bad hairstylists out there. Everybody know how to cut and color? What? Yes. Share. Everyone that's on, hit the share button. It's that little button at the bottom that said share on it. It's very easy. Spell it out for you. Share. Come on, people. Share this video. Oh, Des, the ladies want to know how much um, your bundles are. You have to no, go to her. They start at fifty dollars at twelve inches. And your Instagram is Ladybug One Two Two Three. Yes. Ladybug One Two Two Three on Instagram. Y'all hear that? And but but see, all I can say is the proof. The proof is in the pudding. But look at the hair, though. Like, look at this. Look. The proof is in the pudding. What quality of hair? It does not get nine. All my clients they get extension. They all they get a little piece. They go Desiree. They all I, I sell the man. I'll be go Desiree. You get my customers. Like this one last night, panic last night at twelve midnight. Get me on Facebook talking about she need Desiree. Then she turn around and get her Desiree on all those social media. Look <laughs> <laughs> on Facebook. She don't know Desiree. Don't want Facebook like that. Desiree got to do Facebook. I know. <clears throat> Nicole Trent. How do you handle retaining your customers in a field that is so oversaturated and keep them coming back when they can go to just about anyone? You want to answer that, Dina's? Yes. Go ahead, answer that. It's called, don't call this way. It's called quality work. It's called when you're a satisfied customer, there's no need to go anywhere else. So you have to satisfy your customers. And the way that you do that is one, is that you listen to them. You listen to them. You ask them what they want, and then you also tell them what they need. Now, and that's very important, telling them what they need. Because as a person that's been with Andrea for over 20 years, sometimes I've come in wanting one thing, and she tells me, girl, that's not what you need. You need something else. So now it's to the point where I don't say a word. That's right. I come in, she can tell you when I'm stressed by my hair. She can tell you that I'm not feeling well by my hair because she has learned me. So that's the important thing is that you have to learn your customers and develop a rapport and a level of respect. Woo! And then they will have a level of respect for the service you provide and will always come back. And that's for my customer people and she won't let me put her on camera because her hair is not done. You know, <laughs> my people are vain like me, but I'm on camera and my hair is not done. But she's like, nope, I'm not coming on. But in real life, did, did, did she answer your question though? In real life, did she? That's, that's for my customer. And that's just her clapping. <laughs> And that's a customer talking. That's a customer. And I wasn't prepared. And she sure wasn't because, honey, she teach over here. She'll be playing. she be having that sucker with her laid out. Nadia Pierce says she ready to hop on this train. <laughs> <laughs> Tanya here said, I wish I was in New York. Hey. Uh, Betty Brathwaite, I have transitioned to natural hair, however, would like to do a weave with my edges out so that it will look natural. Will it be possible? Yes, it will. When she would talk to that lady right there, her name is Desiree. That's who you be talking to. You remember I said we do share and anything that you think, I am not a weaver. She can do mess out some weave. I wish I could do weave like her. I'd be like, whoo, Lord, and she fast. Oh, you see, whoo, that man has been going. I'm like, dang. When it comes to short hair, yeah, I'll kill you with that. But when it comes to some weed, that chick over there, she be killing it. She be, I'm like, dang, that's right. We be sitting here talking. 30 minutes later, I look up. This lady will have a whole, I swear to you, in real life. So then, I'm dropping stuff all over the place. She don't play when it comes to weed. She's that's her thing. And she sells the hair. And as you all can see, as I can say, is the proof is in the potty. Thank you, Lacey Stein. You share the video. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for sharing. Come on, people. Everybody, share this video. Yes, Joe Marie. It's Ladybug1223. <laughs> Cheryl LeJoy says, Where are you from? I am from Jamaica. <laughs> she said, I hear the island. In you. Yes, honey. I'm from Jamaica, but I grew up in Merlin. So that's the country. Pamela Bentley, beautiful hairstyle. Thank you, Pamela Bentley. Selena Brown, hair looks so natural. Looks like it grew out of her head. Mm -hmm. What mixture is this again, Desiree? 
That's Brazilian loose wave. Okay. Okay. Look at that Brazilian loose wave, honey. And let me tell y'all something. Not just because he um, almost go and go ask it. No. This is what she does. That's her thing. I mean, she look, look at this sucker look like it's growing on Candace's scalp. Candace, look at your hair. I see it. It's no joke. And farmer. And you this looking? is it. And when it's natural curl. Woo. Look at this. Look at this. That's it. That's what she looked like when she was on vacation. I was like, damn, Candace here look okay. nice. Okay. Then that's that's right here, honey. She wear what she sells. Okay. It's All right, look at that hair. <laughs> and she may have a weave, but if you look both of her sides, she's shaved. She don't have a shaved, shaved, shaved. I'm gonna ask my okay. people. You got it? Thank you. <laughs> JC McCreary says just like wow. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, doll. But in real life, though, when you cut, you got to cut. When you do hairstyles, you got to do it to fit yeah. your customer's head. Check Candace's sleep. They knocked out. She just came back from, where you came back from, Thailand? Uh, where were you? Mm -hmm. Philippines? She came back from the Philippines yesterday? Mm -hmm. And as the vain person uh -huh. she is, my sister said, your customers is as vain as you. I said, you think so? She okay. said, hell yeah. Yes. She said, they oh, they want to spoil brats. <laughs> you go out of town and they be having a fit. It's true. Alan Givenchy wants to know how much would it cost to color my ends? What, what do you mean your ends? You want to, um, that's kind of a tricky question because I don't do color um, consults over the phone nor up via Facebook. That's something I have to see. I got to see what you want. And see what you need. Can't give you that price over the, um, over the Facebook, via Facebook. Jubin Cruz, how much is it to give a bob cut? Oh, a cotton style? The, um, this is a hundred. Uh, Kalissa, Dina, Shelton, she said, you slayed that. Thank you, doll. Lauren Groover, this is a nice style. I'm loving this. Thank you, doll. And thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. So do you see um do you see that right there? How this one just curved around to sit behind the hair? Look. And how it comes and it just hugs. I didn't want it to be like straight and even. And I wanted this to sit right on the jawline like that. Vanessa Anderson says, awesome job. I'm very impressed. Thank you, Vanessa Anderson. I so appreciate you saying that. Thank you. Quabina, Michael Nesbitt Gaines. I enjoyed watching Love, a fellow stylist from Maryland. Oh, hey, boo. I grew up in Wheaton. That's why you hear my, my accent. And you say Maryland. We don't say Maryland. We say Maryland. <laughs> Tina Bowen, very nice. How do you maintain the look? Oh, you can just wrap her hair. Yep. And go to sleep. <laughs> and she got to see her next week to come over here, her shampooed and style. Yes, when my clients get extensions, they treat it like it's their hair. That's why they pay for the bundles. And, and yep, and that's why it lasts so long. This is Alizé not a game. You can view the video from the video from the beginning once we're off of live. You could always go back and replay it. Yes. Also share it on your page. You could share definitely rewatch it there. <laughs> okay, so back to a little bit of my putty. Take my putty. These are the Edge Beauty products, which is me. Rub it together. Take a little bit of oil. Rub it till it dissipates. It's not greasy and it has resin from hairspray. Keisha and James Golden, she says, that is awesome. Wish we had someone around here that could do hair that way. <laughs> Where are you from? I'm going to start doing pop-up shop in y'all cities. Y'all play with me. I do pop-up shops. Mm -hmm. That's where I keep telling me that. She said, you need to do oh, pop-up sure. shop. I need to, but I need to get my manager's managing situation down pat. I need to call him before he cuts me out. That's something that has to be real organized. 
Miss Betty Moore says, from Portland, Oregon. You go, girl. Very hey, nice cut and Portland, style. Portland, Oregon. Here I go again. I didn't know there were black people in Portland. <laughs> I'm playing. We Here, Ramsey. There's black folks everywhere. Here, so Ramsey says, yes, come through. Amazing. Yes, Auntie. I think I'll start doing that. A, that's right. I think, I think I am going to listen to you. And I'm going to go on the road to the pop-up shop. Hello? You, did you just say you're back? Yes. You have to use that the whole time? Tiffany McClure Haynes says that is gorgeous. Thank you. Keisha and James okay. Golden there in Florida. Florida. I am going to do that. Regina Hall, love your work. And then she says 12:30. Regina Hall, the actor. Okay, have you been here before? <laughs> Hi, Regina Hall. Candace' hair is amazing. <laughs> But can you, when you look at it though, can you see that this is a full head of extensions? I wanted this to hug behind there because I wanted to expose her shape side. Just because she's in law enforcement doesn't okay. mean okay. that she can't be funky. She law enforces in style. Mm -hmm. When they see her coming, they be like, uh-oh. They'll be like, oh, okay. Yep. They'll be like, here goes the hair. Don't mess with Candace because she's going to be pissed if you mess okay. up her hair. Okay. <laughs> and in real life, this is it. This is beautiful. Put a little bit of my Mazzani. Yes, I use it. Y'all can talk about me all you want, but I still love Mazzani <laughs> products. Kathy Camille Deboulet uh -huh. says, I'm loving this hairstyle. Come to Trinidad. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't mind coming to Trinidad because that's, that's the islands. I will come anywhere. Just put a class together. Call me up. Set it up. Bright sunshine says, come to New Jersey. Fabulous. Nice job. You're not that love far it. from me. You Jersey, you as a matter you close. Trisha McDowell says, send in love from so the D. Your hair's natural. All right. Hey, Detroit. No. Detroit is a D, right? Mm -hmm. Or DC. Yeah, right? <laughs> Betty Denver. Moore says, if you ever come to Portland, you get swamped okay. at now, first opening, no doubt. Oh, do you, don't play with me, girl, because, you know, we can play with that. We can schedule it. Okay. okay. Stephanie Bundy, very cute. Arizona needs some stylists. Thank you, thank you, thank you. You're welcome. Turn around, Candace. Say hi to Facebook. I love her hair. She loves really her nice. hair. She loves her hair. Yes. Thank you. You're welcome, doll. So, Facebook, this is it. Do y'all have any more questions for me? Because I got to go. Because I got to give her a treatment. We're coming to New Orleans one day. We're coming to New Orleans. I'm telling you, we need somebody <laughs> to put these classes together in New Orleans. If you know someone, just email me the information. I'll take it from there. Oh, and Cherie Johnson said her track is showing. Please cover it. What track? Girl, you got to show us where. Uh, where? We look. We looking like. <laughs> where? Where? Friday, um, January 20th. We're at, at the time. And you give me color. Oh girl, you looking real hard. Okay. <laughs> Trust me, nobody's that close. <laughs> nobody's that close. Black woman, we don't let nobody touch our hair. No. Thank you, Shay. But thank you. <laughs> so we are. Thank you, Candace, for hanging out with me on Facebook. As, oh, I look forward to seeing you. Yes, it was. They were the only ones that saw it. God. Um, Lauren Groover. Wow, you can't tell that's extensions. This is what okay, you call a pro. Okay, the only thing pro. that's left out is this much on the top and right underneath the bottom. So I blend it so it looks like it's hers. But um, I need to get my hair done. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. I need my hair done. Um, any other questions? We good? Betty Moore, we love you, gorgeousness. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank, thank you, thank you, thank you, darling. <laughs> Sherry said thank you. Thank you. <laughs> but I had, thank you, Candace. <laughs> so, um, <laughs> any other questions um, about what I just did to Candace? Um, if you want to book a class, go to the Ed Beauty. Open, um, open my eyes. Go to the edbeauty.com. She just told me to open my eyes. Go to the edbeauty.com. Um, click on classes to be a model for any of the classes in the up in the couple upcoming cities. Just leave your um, there's a model signing a sign up page. Just leave your information and we get back to you. Um, if you want to see me in Cincinnati, um, New Orleans, where's the place they said? 
Oregon. 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 I, all over the country. Just put me a class. I'll be there. I love to travel. This is my, what I do. I will go to, I'm going to think about doing the pop-up shops. Uh, what else? I think that, that that's pretty much covered. We went over Marsa. We went over our BPI. I went over that I'm tired. Um, we have a class this weekend. My sister is coming from Maryland this weekend. Um, what else? Class is in Fayetteville, North Carolina. Everything for classes on the edgebeauty.com. Just go to classes. Any question before I leave? Because I'm about to be out. And if you see that we are not responding to you, look at the top of the button. It says was live. We'll be getting a lot of people get upset at us. Two, three, four days later, a week later, they're saying, hi, how you doing? Hey, you're not on. Hey. But like we was live last week. So look at the top if it says live or was live. Was live meaning we off. Live meaning we on. So, Facebook, it was real. Thank you all for hanging out with me with another extension, another week. I love you all. Any question before I go? And if I don't, if Chutney missed oh, you. Oh, yeah, yeah. Well, do you do wedding hair? No, that's Tanisha. I, if it's shortcuts, I do. I was like, she's still here. So, Tanisha, <laughs> Tanisha does, um, she do a lot of weddings and stuff like that. So, if you need to book your wedding, call the salon, 631-393-6677. Ask for, what's her name again? Tanisha. Tanisha. I know I'm getting old. Okay. Um, what else? That's it? That's it. Okay, Facebook. Nice, nice, nice seeing you on another Wednesday. I think I like scoping a Wednesday. What do you mm -hmm. think? So, bye, Facebook. I'll see y'all later. Thank y'all. Webcast Wednesday. Hmm? Webcast Wednesday. Oh, webcast <laughs> One last question. Like Walter that. Thomas, are you single? Uh, <laughs> as soon as you start winding down, they're like, "Wait, I'm not gonna Wait miss a minute. you." I'm like, I am single. No, Thank you didn't. You. Patricia was still here. I, and if you're a man, I'm real single. <laughs> I, I just do man. Sorry, but love men. No, it was a man. <laughs> is, it, is the same person I asked me last week to marry him? No. Is that the same person? No. Are you sure? But um, in real life, I'm looking rough, so. I'm gonna get off of Facebook. Chutney, oh we gotta go. Oh, no Say please. Yeah. Love you. Bye for you. Deuces. <laughs>